Hi all, in this video I am showing how to create a simple DB or distribution panel family, how we can create it. I will show you and giving some parameter for all the things. I will show you from the start. Uh, first of all, we need to go to family, then create a new. Then you can get a lot of metric family from here. So we need to select electrical equipment family. So this is a, I'm pl planning to do for a distribution board. So select this metric er equipment, electrical equipment. It is a family template. So just click open. So once you open, you will be get like uh, some drop drawing area like this. So these are the uh, this like a uh, uh, like like the base point like uh, like that so we need to create something from here so what we can do first of all we need to create the width and uh, depth of the panel so we can go to create and just uh, take the reference plane so we can say one is 100 from here so just pick the pick the line and just uh, give this like this like that okay so then otherwise you can give a little bit more also this one so i will show you how to do that one and here we can give the depth also okay so the depth uh, we can say like uh, 200 from this side and 200 for here like that we can create otherwise you can make it uh, this all are same then we go to the dimension just take the dimension like that and you can put it like equal and this one, uh, this one also you can give the dimensions. Take it from here and just give it like that, like that, and give equal. So if you want to change this one like a uh, two hundred, so you can change it from here. So automatically that will um, come up to uh, that. So here, here you want to change this one. Uh, the width is like like a hundred, so that will adjust to our dimensions. So you want to change the scale from here so you can change it. So I'm just choosing 10 uh, or 20. Okay, then, then we need to create some um, other parameters. So you just need to take like this one dimensions and from here to here one dimension. Then select here. This is our width of the panel. So you can get a, a parameter over here. So just click on this one. So just click on this one then you need to create some parameter okay so i'm just giving a name like uh, db depth uh, db width okay sorry db width and check check this one instant parameter so it's coming under the uh, group group under group parameter under dimension click okay so this it will show like uh, uh, db width and here we need to give a depth of the panel so select this one create as one and just uh, type like uh, db depth then click ok then what we can do we need to create some extrusions over here go here and just take a rectangle from here and just uh, draw like that and just lock these things just lock it so you can lock like that okay so that part is locked then what we need to go go to finish once you go to the 3D view, so you can see uh, it, it was created over here. So you can just give a shaded or um, like fine and everything. So then what we do, we can go to the front view of this one. So then we need to give a like a height of the panel. So just uh, we need to go to create and uh, reference plane. Just give an offset like uh, 1800. Pick the line, then select from here. So it was created over here. You need to just give this one, the, like the dimension, and just give the parameter for this one, like uh, db, sorry, db height. So just giving db height. Then that is also instant. You can give click OK. So that was also created. And just what you can do, just uh, just type align, otherwise modify, and go to here and just select this one and select this line. So it will be aligned with that one. Okay. So once you change this one, so I need to change this one to two thousand. So it will be adjust automatically. It will be adjust. So if you want to change one thousand five hundred, so it automatically adjust. So I'm keeping this one one thousand eight hundred. So that part is completed. Then we need to give some extrusions over here for a, for, for if you can go here and the, go to the 3D view so you can see here the DB uh, some structure is created. 
then what we can do go to the reference and we can if you want to change this one a little bit more so you can change also from here for for example 800 so you can give that dimensions and everything over here so automatically the db uh, things will be changed and you can go here and you can change this one uh, like uh, i need uh, 400 so that, that will automatically adjust so like that we can uh, adjust uh, through the parameter go to reference uh, the left side again so this is this is our uh, height of the uh, uh, height of the db then what we can do we need to give some other parameter uh, some other extrusions over here so go to here and uh, reference plane just uh, say like 50 millimeter from here and pick this line and select like this select like this and select like this and select inside of this one then what we need to do go to create and void form void extrusion select the rectangle from here and just select like this and if you want to dock it lock it this one so no worry just finish it so if you look the 3d view so you can see here it's it was created like this open uh, part and then we can do some uh, like uh, some doors and everything over here so just the same process go to here create reference plane and just to say like this one is 10 and just pick the line from here and here and here and uh, you can say here uh, uh, some other uh, dimension like 50 so it was created over here and then what we need to do go to here and create uh, extrusions and go, go here and just uh, rectangle like this then what we can do just uh, make a line from here and just uh, take it like this and just give some dimensions and uh, do it like this i will just uh, move this to to down down to here up to here okay then just to trim it trim from here and just to trim it this line to this one and this one line line to this one so that our door is created over here so you can adjust it like a perpendicular this one and trim that one and fill it like that so once you've done that one just uh, check it that one and just to go to the uh, 3d view so you can see here it was uh, showing like that okay so what we need to do we need to align with the, this one to our uh, this level so just type align select this one and select this one so it will align with the here so then another the, another one thing we can give some um, model stress over here so go to the here create you can take the model text from here and i'm just typing like a db uh, you can type whatever you need okay so i'm just typing db panel and i'm placing over here otherwise you, if you if it's more than just give a db only okay just to click okay just i am placing over here and we can uh, give some reference line also in the center of this one so you can um, say like you can give the center line from here and giving like this and you just need to align with the, uh, this line this db and this line uh, center of this one so then select this one and uh, just uh, double click on the, uh, the uh, and you need to add something or uh, some parameter over here so what we can do just select this one and edit and if you if you need to show this one you can show it that one also if you go to the 3d view so just just you can see here the db is placed over here okay so uh, even in the front side you want to show that one just uh, align with this line okay this uh, align with this one otherwise you can move it this uh, otherwise you can uh, move it here or here which side you need you can do it that things also okay so once you've done that one just uh, we, other way we can align with this one so it will come up over here so you can see here is a db uh, name also showing over there and what are the one, another thing is like uh, you need to give some uh, power connections for this one so go to uh, reference reference plane again then you need to give this uh, uh, connector over here so go to creator and just to give an electrical connector select this one so it will be connecting here so we can get it uh, all the details uh, for the from here so the what are the panel name you can give over here and voltage you can give it here 230 means you can give that one click ok so like that we can create it and go to here and you can see the electrical connector over here and uh, uh, all the load you can assign assign here and after that what we can do um, uh, just need to give some electrical uh, conduits over here also you can go give that one also go to here and create so you can give the 
uh, whatever you need for even uh, cable track connector you need so you can give the cable track connector and you can give the go to here and you, you need to connect to this uh, conduit connector so you can give the conduit connector and everything so if you can go there so you can see all the connector it will come home here and this is the kind of the settings and you can get the all the parameter over here and here is uh, mentioning all the uh, things which are uh, which come under which type of uh, things and everything and uh, all the dimension uh, details and everything you will be get and this is the part type uh, it is showing mechanical then uh, we can change that one also so for from here you can change it this is electrical equipment and click ok and if you need to do load this one in a project so i will i'll open one project and i'm just uh, opening one project over here new project i'm just uh, selecting this one uh, from our electrical templates or what so just i'm um, system template i'm choosing click ok so that will create over here then you need to create some wall means you can create the wall and you can change this one to level two uh, level two level one or oh, level sorry level create a wall and just level two and just you can give the uh, thickness for the wall and everything so i'm just drawing the wall like this i'm just uh, creating a wall like that and you just go here and you can you can save this uh, file first okay so just to save this one save to your desktop or where you are, want to save it so you can save it that one so i'm just uh, typing like a distribution distribution board okay just saving that one and save it then load into the project so you can um, you can place that one over here okay so this is under the mechanical so it was not showing so go to here system and uh, uh, like you can electrical equipment so distribution board is showing over here you can place it that things over here so if you want to just checking that one so you can uh, you can see the that will be fixed over here so you can change the shaded one and everything so uh, like that we can uh, ch change change it and uh, uh, fix it the dbs over here so i think hopefully you guys enjoyed this video so this is the way we are creating the dbs and everything so for example here you need to connect the conduits and everything so it will be uh, that is also we can do it okay so from here you can connect that to cable tray so you can connect it that one the cable tray you can connect it and uh, if you if you want to just make it a section like that okay just uh, create a section and go to the view and if you want to select a connect a cable tray from here you can just uh, draw the cable tray like that and you can draw the cable tray like this so once it's done so you just select like this so the cable tray it was showing over here so just uh, go to the 3d view so you can see the cable tray is connected over here find it and you can see the cable tray it was connected the same thing for this uh, uh, conduit so select you can move this one over here okay then uh, you can uh, go to the view go to the view and select here and here is a conduit a draw conduit okay so just uh, go to here and just you can make the conduits like this okay so that that is the way we, we are doing this uh, these things and you can just uh, create draw conduits okay S select like this and you can connect the conduit like this and if you go here go to the 3d view so you can see the conduit fittings and everything it's connecting over here so this is the way we are creating db uh, family and uh, thanks for watching thank you if you like my video please subscribe my channel thanks for watching